Hi, this is Vicky with Condi Systems Technical Support, and now I'm going to show you how to set up Photoshop Elements 3.0 for your Macintosh users out there. So, the first thing I want to do is make sure I have a profile. If you don't have a profile, you need to call Condi at 1 800 826 6332 or send an email to support at condi.com. Anyone would be able to help you in our support staff. So, therefore, uh, once you have your profile you can continue your uh, your color management settings for Photoshop Elements 3.0. Remember that this would work with any printer uh, with the right color profile. You want to, you could you could set up color management whether it be an Epson or a Ricoh 5050, a Ricoh 3300. Today we're going to use the Ricoh 7000 as an example. Uh, but the setup would be the same for any sub sublimation printer. Uh, that you have. So I'm going to double click my folder. First thing I want to do is install my profile. So my profile is going to go in a unique folder on my Macintosh. So I want to scroll down and first thing I want to do is copy it and close this folder. I'm ready to go to my computer and I can go from uh, my top menu where it says go and then left click on computer or you can get to your uh, hard drive through your Macintosh hard drive which is located on your desktop for some of you people. I'm going to click on computer. Now I'm going to see my library which is where I want to go next. And then I want to go to color sync and then I'm going to double click on profiles. I'm going to right click. I'm going to be able to paste my ICC profile that I just copied. Now I can see it in my profiles uh, folder. Once I've got it there I've installed my ICC profile correctly and I'm ready to get to my application. The application again is going to be Photoshop Elements 3.0 for Macintosh users. I'm going to go to my application and I'm going to scroll down and find Adobe Photoshop Elements 3.0 and double click it. And double click again. And minimize this. And this. Once Photoshop Elements 3.0 opens, we need to put something on the page. And the reason we need to get something on the page is because without having um, a document open with something on it, then we're not able to access our, our color settings. So make sure that you get something on the page. So we're going to go to File, New. And then I'm going to scroll over and left click on Blank Document. I'm going to change my pixels to inches because I want it to be big enough so you guys can see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make it 7 inches by 7 inches, which is a perfect square. Color mode is RGB as always. We use RGB with all our profiles. That's how we calibrate our color. And my background contents can be transparent. And that gives me a blank uh, document. Now that I have something on the page, or I have a new document, I want to actually go over to my tools and left click on something so that it doesn't matter what it is for purposes of what we're going to do today is color management setting. And I'm just going to click on something where I can drag across the page and and add color or, or box or something so that I can access my settings. Now that I have something on the page, I'm going to left click on Photoshop Elements and I'm going to scroll down and left click on Color Settings. In the Color Settings dialog box, which you see here, you have three options. Uh, we're going to choose Full, full Color Management and that's Full Color Management uh, is optimized for printing and that's what we want so if you don't have that selected make sure you choose your radio button just by left clicking in the circle and that'll highlight that button for you then you can click OK now what I want to do is go to file and I'm going to go to print I'm not really going to print but I do want to show I want to check the box that says show more options just under my print preview here so I'm going to click show more options and uh, my page setup it's going to be for my Rico printer. Again, this would work for an Epson also, or any of your Rico uh, printers, whether it be a GX3300 or a GX5050. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm ready to uh, choose my profile, my print space. So with the Show More option selected, I can see color management. And I'm going to click my fly out here and I'm going to scroll down very carefully. I'll probably I'll pass it, but maybe I won't. Uh, I'm going to look for my GX7000 dot trans high quality dot ICM. And I'm going to left click to select that. Now I can choose my intent. My um, relative is there by default, but I want perceptual. So I'm going to 
click my fly out and left click on perceptual. Now I have all my settings and my ICC profile selected so that I can uh, print correctly my color. And now that that's done uh, without printing, I'm just going to cancel out. And that's it for setting up color management in Photoshop Elements 3.0. If you have any questions at all on how to do this and you are uh, an active Condi client or if you're just curious, give us a call at Condi. Uh, you can call us at 1-800-826-6332. Again, my name is Vicki, and thank you for your time.